Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your favorite type of white sangria in 5 simple easy steps. Alright guys, today we're going to be making your favorite type of white sangria. How do I know what your favorite type of white sangria may ask? Well guys, it's easy. I'm going to let you choose all the ingredients. Alright guys, 5 simple easy steps. Step number 1, choose your 4 favorite type of fruits. Here as you can see, we have my favorite type of fruits. Number one, orange, number two, strawberries, number three, raspberries, and number four, blueberries. So we're gonna be adding all of that into our pitcher. All right, guys, I went ahead and before the video started, I washed and cut my favorite fruits. You really don't need to measure it, all you need is a handful, okay? So I have my glove on. The first thing I'm gonna add is oranges. Fruit number two, strawberries. I love strawberries. You also want to make sure you use vibrant colors. Um, make sure all your fruits are the same color just to give it, you know, a nicer presentation and exotic feel to your sangria. Fruit number three, red raspberries. And we also have blueberries. Oh, here we go. All our fruits in our pitcher. Step number two, your favorite type of white wine, whether it's a Pinot Grigio, a Chardonnay, a Moscato, I love Sauvignon Blanc. I could drink Sauvignon Blanc with meat, with fish, I could drink it by itself. And it's definitely a white wine that I would recommend for you to use for your sangria. So we're gonna be adding this. And you're just gonna wanna add it all the way to the top. You don't have to get the most expensive bottle for Sauvignon Blanc, but don't get the cheapest either because we're trying to avoid a headache, right? Step number three, simple syrup. We have our simple syrup here. We're gonna add one ounce, which is one shot to our pitcher. Just give it a little bit of sweetness. If you don't have simple syrup at home, you can also use a tablespoon of sugar. Step number four, orange liqueur. As you guys know, my favorite type of orange liqueur is Grand Marnier. We're gonna be adding two shots of Grand Marnier to our white sangria. One and two. And step number five, guys, your favorite type of fruit snaps. Today we have peach, you can use apple pucker, watermelon, banana, there's a lot of other uh, snaps out there, but I always recommend peach snaps. All right guys, two shots of peach snaps. This is also a must have at your bar. If you have it at a home bar, you can make green teas with this, you can make peach margaritas, white sangrias, the list is endless, it's a must have at your at home bar. Next, you just get a spoon, and you put it inside your pitcher and you make sure all the ingredients that you chose get nice and mixed up inside your pitcher, okay? Just mix it for a couple seconds. And now guys, we give it a taste. So we get our glass and the first thing we want to do is just get a spoon and just, uh, you know, get some fruits that you put in your white sangria and you put that in there, okay? Make sure you get all the different type of fruits. And let's put a nice orange in there. And now we just pour the rest of our sangria to your glass. All right, guys, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Amazing. If you guys have a little bit of time on you, I would definitely recommend let the pitcher sit in the fridge four to six hours. No more than six hours because after six hours, the fruits start getting a little soggy. But you know, from four to five to six hours, it's a perfect amount of time to let the fruits marinate with the wine and give it maximum taste. Thank you guys so much for watching another AJ Mixology video. If you guys enjoyed these videos and my previous videos, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also make sure to like and comment and share this video with someone who would like to make their perfect sangria at home.